And I think our number one contract with customer is site availability. And like many other uh, services, we also have three nines, uh, we also promise three nines of availability. And by the way, it's not just a promise, it's backed by financial gu guarantee. So if, uh, if we are not uh, meeting three nines, we'll, we'll credit uh, the customers. But internally, um, inside the team, we don't just think about uh, achieving three nines of availability. We are obsessed about that missing 0.1%. In other words, our contract, internal contract, is to provide 100% uh, availability to our customers. When, when a site goes down, that becomes job number one uh, for the entire team. There is nothing else that, that takes a higher priority. And uh, the core rules of engagement are speed, automation, and discipline action. You know, every action matters. Every wrong action can delay the recovery. It's a pressure cooker environment, but uh, you know, our, our, our goal is to keep the team calm and focused uh, on the recovery. And in parallel, we are also, we take our responsibility to communicate the customers very seriously. So we are constantly updating our service status, you know, telling them about what's going on, what to expect. And if it's a serious issue, um, our VP, Brian Harry, you know, you would write up a fairly detailed blog post about uh, what happened, you know, what, uh, what the problem was, how we mitigated the problem, what we learned from it, what actions we are taking to prevent that problem from happening again. So not only we are transparent uh, uh, to our customers about what happened, but we are holding ourselves accountable with a public blog post. So, it, you know, we take these things very seriously. And then what happens is that once a week, we get together, the leadership team uh, comes together to review um, the live side issues from the previous week. So this is a meeting that's attended by all the engineering man managers as well as directors. Uh, this is probably the most important meeting I go to myself. The goal of the meeting is to not pass criticism or um, you know, uh, point finger at uh, anybody. Its goal of the meeting is to uh, drive continuous improvement. So we look at uh, the previous week's uh, incidents and um, each engineering manager is uh, you know, expected to come prepared with a, a detailed write-up on what happened and what we learned from that. And, and, and we expect uh, this to come from a fairly senior leader as opposed to an engineer. And the reason is that these discussions are fairly open and self-critical in nature, and oftentimes the, the action items that come out of that are not just tactical response, but a fairly, uh, fairly broad nature improvements in the, uh, in the product. And it's, bet, it's best to have this kind of conversation with senior leaders in, in, in the team. And we would share these learnings with, broadly with the team um, uh, after the meeting.